Hi, I'm Tim Hockenberry. As a professional home inspector, I've inspected thousands of homes to make sure they're safe. You know, checking for foundation cracks, the integrity of joints, things like that. And I got to thinking recently about all the advances in construction materials and methods and how many of them might not exist without the chemistry of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde, you ask? No doubt you've heard something about it, whether in your high school biology class, about its use as a preservative in cosmetics, or elsewhere. Yep, formaldehyde has a wide variety of uses, but what you may not know is that it's a natural substance produced by every living organism. Right now, believe it or not, we're all exhaling formaldehyde. And here's another thing you may not know. Formaldehyde contributes in a major way to advanced construction methods. Look here, for instance. This subfloor is made of oriented strand board, also known as OSB. It's a composite of strands of wood. And you know what binds them all together? Phenylformaldehyde resin. It's this material with its essential formaldehyde component that makes OSB, plywood, wood veneer, and other composite woods possible. These engineered wood products are designed to maximize the natural strength and stiffness of wood. Some products even boast a greater structural strength than solid wood. Let's look around. You'll be amazed at all the places where formaldehyde plays an important role. These kitchen cabinets rely on it. These bathroom countertops, you betcha. And when it comes time to paint the place, you guessed it, formaldehyde is used in the manufacture of paints and sealers. Up here, formaldehyde is really important too. The roof decking and shingles are all manufactured with resins that rely on formaldehyde. I think you're beginning to get the picture. Formaldehyde is essential in the manufacturing of so many materials we take for granted around the home. But maybe you're wondering, can you have too much of a good thing? That's a natural concern, but no need to worry. In many instances, virtually all of the formaldehyde is consumed in making the product and is no longer present in the final materials used in the home. And in the case of composite products like particle board, manufacturers have achieved the ultra-low emission levels required by stringent California standards. While all living things encounter some amount of naturally produced formaldehyde, manufacturers take great care to have its levels meet established safe standards. Besides, formaldehyde breaks down quickly and does not accumulate in the body or the environment. Did I mention that the construction industry isn't the only place you'll find formaldehyde? Turns out it's an essential part of the production of hundreds of products in our homes and offices. You'll find formaldehyde used in the manufacture of furniture, padding, and the textiles that cover them. In fact, formaldehyde plays a large part in reducing waste in furniture production. That's right, bonding agents that rely on formaldehyde make it possible to construct furniture from wood chips and other materials that might otherwise be burned or end up in the landfill. The result? Less need for new timber. Formaldehyde is also essential in the automotive industry. In the manufacturing of the transmission, the electrical system, engine block, door panels, and brake shoes. Materials made with the help of formaldehyde make cars lighter and more energy efficient, allowing us all to go farther on a gallon of gas. Formaldehyde is also indispensable in the construction of jets and planes. You'll find it in the production of the landing gear, brakes, seats, and insulation. And sitting right here on the vanity, these everyday cosmetics also benefit from formaldehyde, which inhibits the growth of bacteria and preserves the product. Without it, shampoos wouldn't be germ-free and other products wouldn't last nearly as long. The bottom line, formaldehyde is essential in manufacturing. It's a part of our natural world and it plays a significant role in our economy. Thanks for watching. For more information on formaldehyde, go to formaldehydefacts.org.